disciples went to the Garden of Gethsemane. In the garden, Jesus asked his friends to stand watch while he went and prayed. He walked away, knelt on the ground, and said, Oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. Jesus went back to his disciples and found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. He awakened them and said, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. All children, please stand.
One asked Jesus why God did not rescue him, but the other asked only that Jesus remember him in heaven. Jesus answered the second thee, Today you will be with me in paradise. Some of the people taunted Jesus and said unkind things. But many that were there were filled with sorrow that Jesus was dying on the cross. <coughs> Even Jesus' mother Mary was beneath the cross. The sky grew dark as Jesus suffered on the cross. He prayed to his Father. After many hours, he cried out, Then he bowed his head and said, It is finished. And Jesus died. At that very moment, there was a great earthquake. One of the guards said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. Children, please stand.
after Jesus rose from the tomb, he met with people, including his disciples. The last time he met with them was on a mountaintop. All power is given to me in heaven and earth, he said. Children, please stand.
spread his teachings throughout the world. Go, therefore, and teach all nations, he said, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Kindergarten, please stand. disciples to take comfort. I am with you always. <laughs>
as we prepare for the ACON a little bit, I do have a few things I'd like to share for you that I skipped early on because we honestly weren't sure how long this was going to take. So, uh, if you do not have a church home or somewhere that you can go this upcoming week and weekend, we'd like to invite you here. Next Sunday is kind of an important day. It's one we call Easter. Today we celebrate Jesus' resurrection from the dead. And here at Christ our Redeemer, we have several opportunities. Again, if you do not have a church home or nowhere else to go, um, 7.30 will be a sun, S-O-N, sunrise service. Following that, at 8.30, we'll have an Easter breakfast. Pancakes and ham will be provided to community breakfast. So we'll have the breakfast at 8.30, and then 10 o'clock will be our festival service. So 7.30, 8.30, and 10 next Sunday. Also during the week, Monday, Thursday, this week is Monday, Thursday, the night we remember that Jesus gave a mandate to his disciples to love one another just as Jesus has loved each one of us so dearly. We're going to be remembering Monday, Thursday at 6.30 this Thursday evening and Good Friday, the day that turns our attention to the tree of the cross on which Jesus gave his life for us. We'll have a tenebrae service, which is a service of darkness, but it's not a service without hope. It's a service filled with the reality that Jesus loved you and me enough to give his life for us. 6.30 on Friday evening. Um, this Friday also, if you have some garden supplies, we're going to have a group of students from Washington Elementary here in town. They're going to be doing some community service out in our community garden, start to freshen it up for the spring months. We need to borrow some tools. Is Rebecca still here? I know we need a wheelbarrow, we need wheelbarrows, shovels, but if you can help provide some tools for that and mark yours so we know who to give it back to, that would be very helpful. That would be also this Friday. Um, and the other big thing, you'll see this when the things are handed out during the egg hunt, we're having a junk fest here. On Saturday, May 4th, out in the parking lot area, if you don't like to host the garage sale at your own place or deal with all the hassle, we have spots that will be available out in the parking lot for $20 to bring your items down, sell with other vendors for the day. Again, it's a yard sale, a garage sale for those who don't necessarily want to host one at their home. And we have a lot more information about that in our church and school office. I think I stole as long as I can. Okay. Um, the extravaganza will begin here in about 15 minutes or so at 11 o'clock. Let's hope the rain holds off a little longer. Um, but again, parents, you're invited to collect your children back in the classroom. And then they'll go out the back door of the classroom and around to where we have three areas set up. The one in front of the church is for three and under. Then it's the four through six-year-olds. And then the old folks, you know, the ones that need walkers, seven through 12. The older students. So you're invited to meet your student in the classroom. How about we close this Paul Sunday worship with a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, we're entering such an important week. Today, Jesus is entering into Jerusalem for us, celebrated as a king, a king who would give his life for us. Turn our hearts and minds toward that tremendous sacrifice of love that Jesus has made for us, Monday, Thursday, the sharing of his body and blood in the Lord's Supper, the mandate to love one another as he has loved us, Good Friday, nailed to a cross, giving life to bring us life to the full. And next Sunday, as we celebrate with gusto the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, Lord, during this holy week, keep our hearts and our minds focused clearly and firmly on all that Jesus has done and continues to do for us each day. And we ask that all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for coming. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>